Hey, I'm always looking for ways to help you to do things more fun and faster. So a game idea was to scramble some vocabulary words, scramble up the letters. And there's obviously tools that are already out there, but I thought I could just add this to something I already have and push it out quickly. So I choose to do that with the quick crop add-on. This collects no user data like most of them. This is actually a free add-on. There's no freemium elements to it, but I would use this quick crop add-on anytime you are using a Google Sheet spreadsheet. Because I think to myself, as I'm using a spreadsheet, what's something I frequently need to do? And then I will add those features into the quick crop as they come up of different things I can do to manage my Google Sheets quicker. So in this example, what I wanted to do was take my vocabulary words and scramble up the letters in the words. And I wanted to have it with a whole list and to just do it quickly. Tasks and and uh, of course, my phone is going to be triggered uh, when I'm making videos about G-O-O-G-L-E. Right. So it's really easy to use. All you're going to need to do is open any spreadsheet and in any column put a list of vocabulary words, one word or phrase per cell, and then go to quick crop. It's in the extensions menu. And under more features, what I have is an option to scramble in the column. So let's take a look at how that works. That's literally all you have to do is have a column. It's going to then insert another column where it scrambles all the letters from the word or phrase. So you can do that anytime with any spreadsheet, honestly. Now what you can see that is going on here is that I've used Google Gemini in my sidebar to give me some vocabulary words for a fifth grader. So this is just kind of a random list of words. I'm gonna choose insert, you'll notice here I have a little bit of a phrase. I'm gonna put the quick brown fox. Now it doesn't matter if it is in column A, but I do always assume that you have column headers. That's that first row where you say what's in the sentence. I'm going to hover right above the row indicator one. And when I hover above that row indicator one, you'll notice that there is a grabby hand and I'm going to pull down that grabby hand and you can see that I've now frozen the first row. You don't need to do that. That's just something I always do. I tell my students the first day of school, if you want to suck up to me when you're like, hey, Miss Keeler, can you come over and look at this? Not only do you have something that you need some help with, but you have a spreadsheet and you've frozen the first row. That first row lets us know what's in each column. So whatever column that you have anything selected, and can you see right now that column A is selected, that column indicator A is blue, Whereas if I click on anything in column B, that column indicator B is blue. So you can tell which column is active. Now C is active. Look at way up at the top, right? So I'm in column A and I'm going to go to the extensions menu and I'm going to come down to quick crop and I have other features and under other features, you'll see I have a lot of things. What I do with this is honestly, when I am using a spreadsheet, I'm like, I feel like it's so repetitive. Like I have to delete the extra sheets to the right. Often it's probably just because I'm testing code. Uh, but if you ever wanted to get rid of all the sheets to the right all at once, this is my go-to. So if I'm in a spreadsheet, I'm using Quick Crop most likely because one of these other features is going to be really helpful. So in this case, though, the one that I have is Scramble Active Column. So I'm going to choose scramble active column and it inserted a column you'll see there and see the word analyze is now scrambled. The word compare is scrambled. The word contrast is scrambled, although now I'm noticing with the capital letters. So that's something I'm going to update uh, at some point here and fix that. So we don't want, let's go look at that phrase that had, see that had an apostrophe and it did scramble that in there. Should we leave that? Maybe, probably. Give me some feedback. Here I have the quick brown fox. You notice that the space is removed. So the phrase, the quick brown fox has been scrambled. And so now you can use each of these word scrambles as an activity for your vocabulary to have students tell you what's the vocabulary word. 
Now I'm going to click here in column C. You can see that column C is selected because that C is blue. You can click any cell in the column, extensions, quick crop. I'm going to go to other features and we will scramble the active column. It inserted a column and each of those definitions were smashed together and scrambled. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I mean, to try to unscramble all of these letters from a struggle between opposite forces would probably be quite ridiculous, but maybe you would want to do it if it's quotes from a book or something like that. But you can see how quick and easy it is. I really hope that this helps you to do some fun activities with your students.